Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, just wanted to come bring y'all something, man. Uh, the Pistons went ahead earlier today and claimed Jordan McRae off waiver wires, off the waiver wire, uh, from, I believe from the Nuggets. Uh, this guy was a 2014 uh, draft pick in the second round, 58 pick overall. Uh, I know this guy is kind of a journeyman, uh, bounced from, I think he was with the Cavs at one point. Uh, you know, um, and he just bounced around the league. He actually has a decent amount of skill set. You know, uh, I'm not not gonna go overboard like this guy's the like he about be next Christian Wood or anything. But uh, he's a he's a swing man, man. He usually coming off the bench, of course. Uh, you know, he uh, had a couple of games earlier this year, one where he averaged like 35 points. Uh, you know. It was kind of an ugly game at the same time for him because he, he, one thing he gets good at doing, he can dribble really good. He even made some good passes because he can get some assists, man. Uh, you know, he didn't have games also with those points where he had like six, seven assists. So, um, this guy, he can, one thing you do is drive himself to the rim. Now, and the funny thing is, though, he kind of finishes bad sometimes, man. Uh, sometimes I think he overpaces himself when he attacks the basket. Uh, he can draw fouls here and there, though. That is one good thing. He can't shoot the free throw. Uh, the guy, he's a talented player. To me, he's 28, though. I don't think he'll ever be nothing more than a bench player. But the guy actually has that cis man type of feel to him. You know what I'm saying? A guy who can come off the bench and score for you and be a little uh, cranky on defense. Uh, guy, if anything, he's a good building block for young guys like Bruce Brown. Because that's like a lot of stuff I see him doing, uh, uh, Bruce Brown needs to kind of add to his game. You know, the guy goes in there and gives you a five-foot jump shot, penetrates, attacks the basket. Bruce Brown does so, but Bruce Brown has to be better on how he approaches the basket, how he finishes, and how he chooses to, you know, score at the basket. And that's why it's imperative that a guy like Bruce Brown needs to get a jump shot, man, because he's a talented player. And if he can just develop, even if it's just a, a 10 foot, 5 foot jump shot, that would actually elevate his game. But this guy here kind of has that already to a certain extent. But he's a veteran. I don't know. This not a move to be like overjoyed about. But the guy actually, guy actually can score the basket. Uh, I'm talking about J Mac as his nickname, man. Uh, he had some good games. Had another one. He scored 29, you know, hit some uh, courageous threes. Uh, the guy will mess your knee up, though, on some dribbles, man. He will cut through defenses out of nowhere and, and try to score man and he can give you a dunk and get explosive at times uh, again I don't know how well he's going to fit the Pistons and how much opportunity he's going to have to do that because we may run our system different and the teams he was able to do that with but if he can do that uh, he's going to add some depth uh, some scoring depth for the Pistons uh, my thing is depending on how he plays do we bring him back and if he does play well enough or the rest of the season, I'm not actually against it because he's not, to me, going to be coming off expensive. And he will bring a good veteran guard in rotation uh, to d- develop for the young guys. And I know that's kind of hard to say because we got like a lot of guards. But it's just, like I said, it's just a, this, for now it's just a signing we're making just because we're injured. And this probably a, a conjunction that we may not be bringing Luke Kennard back. And rumor has it Derrick Rose either so, uh, for the rest of the season. So he's probably one of those type of signings, man. Y'all leave in the comment section what you think about the move. I know it's not nothing sexy or crazy or wild to jump over for, but considering everything that's going on, if you like the signing, leave in the comment section, man. Tell me anything else you know about the guy. If he, if it's good or bad, that I might have missed something, you know, uh, just leave it in there. And it's your boy, Nomad J, and I'm out, man. Peace.